Subi East project is probably one of the biggest redevelopment areas that we've undertaken in Western Australia. It's about 35 hectares of uh, prime inner suburban land and in the future is going to represent about 2,700 residential dwellings and retail. It's a combination of the redevelopment of Subiaco Oval as well as the PMH Hospital which is about a kilometre up the road. The last 12 months has been incredibly productive here. From a planning perspective, we've now approved the design guidelines. In November of last year, they were approved, and they'll set the scene for uh, framing the development of future buildings around the Subiaco Oval, which will be really sympathetic to the local context in Subiaco and provide for high quality buildings into the future. Demolition of the PMH site has been going really well this year. We've been very mindful to ensure that there's protection for the school over the road, surrounding residents and businesses to make sure that the sound and activities from demolition are, are very well contained. You'd see that there's still some buildings on Roberts Road that are remaining there for the moment and they'll continue to stay there until all of the work behind there is done and then those buildings will come down in a managed way. The site itself has produced about 22,000 tonnes of recyclable material and of that there's about 97.5% recyclable rate of that material which is a fantastic result for the community. The PMH demolition is about 60% complete now, there's a lot of work that's been done in the last 12 months. Two of the three buildings there on Roberts Road will come down over the next few months and then there's one large red brick building that will come down by the middle of this year. Once that happens that'll then allow the car park behind that to be demolished and then the, the contractor will start moving into site remediation and clean up of the site itself ready for redevelopment. Just looking at the redevelopment of the Subiaco Oval precinct itself, there's a lot of activity to occur here over the next 12 to 18 months. One of the initial activities is going to be the contractor mobilising for the upgrading of some civil works in the area. That's going to be Subiaco Road upgrade and that'll bring some much needed pedestrian and cycling facilities and road upgrades to the area. So that's going to be commenced very shortly. Then we're going to move into some landscaping works and public facilities which will include shade structures, um, some temporary toilet facilities, upgrading of the landscaping around the oval which will also include a reinterpretation of the Sandover metal walk which will be fantastic uh, and all of that put together will mean that footy can come back to, uh, to Subiaco Oval which will be great for the future. And of course central to the landscaping upgrade of Subiaco Oval and PMH is going to be a fantastic six seasons biddy trail and that's come about with some extensive consultation with our Wadjuk elders it's going to uh, include some, some amazing artworks from local Noongar artists. So we're really looking forward to, to bringing that to life in the Subiaco precinct itself. Most of the works, including some of the landscaping, is going to be done through 2022. So we'd ask that the public is just patient with us as we get that work undertaken. Access will be limited from Roberts Road and the pathway, but the oval will still be able to be used. So this year is going to be an incredibly busy year. Uh, we're looking forward to unveiling a fantastic precinct in 2023, so see you then.